In a previous video, I showed you how to use Logos and Launch Center Pro to quickly access resources and go to certain Bible verses and other dictionary articles from Launch Center Pro. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to make your own. First, we're going to take advantage of Logos's copy a URL or hyperlinking feature on the Mac. You can also do this on a PC. In order to do so, we first want to open up a resource and click this book here in the top left. And notice you can copy location as URL, HTML, wiki, or RL. And the shortcut is Option Command C. So for our purposes, we're going to copy any part of the NA27, because this is the resource we're going to want to use, and click Option Command C. And since we're going to be using the iPad, we're going to open up Evernote to quickly sync it over there. Create a new note. And we're just going to paste this reference right in. Now this may look confusing at first, but it's really easy to understand. The first part just specifies that this is the Logos app. The second part highlights what resource it is. The REF is the reference. And then everything after this, the off and CTX, just shows the location in the resource. We don't really need this because the reference will take us to where we want. And for our purposes, we're going to want to have a prompt to be able to enter in whatever verse that we want. So we're going to take this off too. Let's go ahead and label this. And we're going to go ahead and do one more so we don't have to go back and forth. So let's say you want to search Dictionary of Paul and his letters with the Launch Center Pro. For the dictionaries, and this goes with lexicons also, you want to copy the head word. In this case, it's Galatians, letter to the. So let's copy a little bit of this. Click Option, Command, C. Let's go back to Evernote. Play with Paul. And paste this in here. Notice once again, there's a lot of things after the off in CTX. We don't need this again. And notice that instead of reference, this says HW, which means head word. And so the head word is Galatians, letter to the. And we're going to take this off because we're going to want our prompt for this. Take that off. And that's all you need to do on your computer. So click sync. Now that you're on your iPad, we're going to want to open up Evernote. And open up your note, and we're going to copy this first one. And we're going to open up Launch Center Pro. And to add a new action, we're going to click the pencil at the top right, click a space, and then we're going to add an action. We're going to name this NA27. And we're going to paste our copied text right here under the URL. Now notice that we have Bible NA27 point, and now we can enter in our prompt. Now on Launch Center Pro, the prompt button is this box on the left hand side of the keyboard. Click that and we're going to use the system keyboard. And a couple things you can do with the prompt is you can add a title to the prompt. We're going to call ours Bible Verse Reference. And you can do that by adding a colon. If you add a second colon, it takes off the autocorrect. Now this is useful when you're researching a Bible verse or something and you're using a abbreviation. So if you type in MT for Matthew, autocorrect will oftentimes change it to MY. So we want to turn this off in this case. So two colons, and we're going to put the title. And we should be good to go. So if you click done, notice how it grabs the icon from Lagos. 
Now if we click this, and let's go to Galatians 3.15. Click Launch, and it takes us right there. Now let's go back to Evernote, and we're going to do the Dictionary of Paul and his letters. Let's copy this URL. Go back to launch. We're going to call this Paul. Paste the URL. We're going to add a prompt. Let's add our two colons and then the title. We're just going to call this article. Click on that, let's type in gospel, and it takes us right there. Now let's say you didn't want to search a resource, and you just wanted to open up that resource from Launch Center Pro. Let's go back to Dictionary of Paul and his letters, and we can just use the Lagos Res colon, and then the resource title, which in this case is DPL. And this will just open up the resource to wherever it was left off at. And since we were at Gospel last time, it takes us right there. So as you can see, it's really easy to integrate Logos and Launch Center Pro to make your workflow more efficient. Thank you for watching.